What is up guys, Jason here. Two weeks ago, I posted a poll on my YouTube community tab asking you guys which video you wanted me to post next. I gave you a couple of options, but in first place, you guys asked that I post a video on my step-by-step -step process to applying for jobs at Kaiser. Then by a slim majority, you guys asked that I post a video on how Monica and I spend our money on an income of $350,000 a year. So because I've come through with my promise and uploaded both of those videos, in third place, we had you guys requesting that I post a video on our favorite places in the Sacramento area. So that's what you're gonna get in this video. And if you guys find these videos helpful, share them with your friends, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's get to it. All right, guys, all of these videos in this top 10 list are not gonna be in any particular order, so let's start off with number 10, Auburn. Auburn is ranked number 21 of the best suburbs to live in the Sacramento area. It's number 116 of 816 best places to retire in California. It also has a population of 14,011 residents. It's a conservative leaning town with an older crowd. The schools are above average. It's not very diverse. And the median home value in this town is $447,600. It's also located about 15 to 20 minutes from Sutter Roseville and Kaiser Roseville. The one thing we like most about Auburn is the fact that it has the American River running through it. Auburn is going to be a city for the outdoor enthusiasts. So for all of you that are into outdoor activities like hiking, swimming, whitewater rafting, this is going to be the city that you're gonna wanna move to. All right, number nine in our list is going to be Elk Grove. Elk Grove is ranked number 10 of the best suburbs to live in the Sacramento area. It's also number 13 of the most diverse suburbs in California. It has a population of 170,825 residents. The schools in this area get an A-. Its residents also tend to lean more liberal. Elk Grove has a median home value of $406,300, and the median household income is going to be $93,780. It's also located around 10 to 15 minutes from Kaiser Permanente and South Sacramento. Okay, number eight in our list is going to be Folsom. Folsom is ranked number two best suburb to live in the Sacramento area. It's also number 65 out of 524 best suburbs to live in California. It's packed with restaurants, coffee shops, parks. It's also full of younger families with moderate political views. And one of the draws of Folsom is the public school system, which ranks an A+. This is part of the reason why so many families want to move to the city of Folsom. Another great thing about Folsom is that it's also meant for outdoor enthusiasts. Folsom Lake is located in the city of Folsom, and it's a great place for families Families. Folsom also has a population of 78,159 residents. The median home value here is going to be $524,100 and the median household income in this area is at the top of our list. It is $114,405. It's also located about 15 to 20 minutes from Sutter Roseville and Kaiser Roseville hospitals. All right, number seven in our list is going to be Roseville. Roseville is the place that Monica and I first moved to when we moved to California. We lived here for about eight months before we moved to the city of Sacramento. Now let's go over some of the facts that we know about Roseville. Roseville is ranked as the number seventh best suburb to live in the Sacramento area. It's also ranked as number 25th best city to retire in America. And it ranks number 29th in the healthiest cities in America. Also niche.com gives it an A rating for diversity, but I have to say when Monica and I lived here, part of the reason why we moved from Roseville is because we felt like it lacked diversity. And this is coming from two people that lived in New York City, which is considered the melting pot of America. Now that we live in Sacramento, it's a bit more diverse, but it still doesn't feel nearly as diverse as New York City did for us. Roseville is also a place for younger professionals that tend to lean more conservatively. And we definitely witnessed this when we were living in Roseville. The public schools here are some of the best public schools in California. Another thing that lures families to Roseville is the mall. Roseville has the fourth largest mall in the Northern California region. It also has a population of 135,637, and the median home value here is going to be $444,400. 
The median household income is $89,082. And this is where Sutter and Kaiser Roseville are located. So it's just going to take you a few minutes to get to Sutter or Kaiser Roseville. Next up is number six on our list, El Dorado Hills. El Dorado Hills is ranked number 85 of the best suburbs to raise a family in California. It's also ranked number 86 of the best places to retire in California. It's got an excellent school system. Residents here tend to lean right and are more conservative. And the city has a more rural feel than the other cities I've listed so far. It's also at the top of many rolling hills, hence the name El Dorado Hills. And because of the city having so many rolling hills, many of the homes here are going to be nestled at the top of these hills with a lovely vantage point of Folsom Lake. This city has a population of 46,593 residents. Its median home value is 6 630,000 and the median household income is $137,726, which is actually the highest value in this list. All right, in number five, we have Arden Oaks. Now, Arden Oaks is not ranked on niche.com, and the reason for that is because it's located within a small section of the Arden Arcade area. The school system here is terrible, but the reason it made it on this list is because the residents here live in lavish estates, with homes selling for anywhere from 485,000, rarely, to 3.5 million. And Monica and I just love driving through this neighborhood because we'd love to imagine what our life would look like if we were to live in one of these homes. It's also located five to 10 minutes from Kaiser South Sacramento and Kaiser North Sacramento. Okay, here we go to number four on this list, Midtown Sacramento. Midtown is ranked as the number two best neighborhood to live in Sacramento. It's also ranked as number two of the best neighborhood for younger professionals. And it's the number 15th best neighborhood to raise a family in Sacramento. Midtown is also a place that has some of the best bars, restaurants, coffee shops, and parks that you're going to see in the Sacramento area. And because it's located in the densely populated city, Midtown residents are more left-leaning and liberal with their political views. The public school system here gets an A-. The median household income here is going to be $51,547. And the median home value is going to be $564,123. So the one thing that Monica and I love most about Midtown Sacramento is the quaint Victorian style homes. These homes are sprawling through Midtown. And Monica and I drive through here often just to admire these homes. And if you live in Midtown, you're also close to Sutter Downtown, UC Davis, Kaiser North, and Kaiser South. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get to any one of these hospitals. Okay, so number three on this list is Curtis Park. Curtis Park is ranked number 10 of the best neighborhoods to live in Sacramento. It's number seven of the best neighborhoods to raise a family and number 17th best neighborhood for young professionals in the Sacramento area. Its residents tend to lean left here because they're also located within the city of Sacramento. And Curtis Park is an older neighborhood in Sacramento but has seen a recent surge of development because the last available large plot of land has been taken up. There's also hundreds of homes and new shops and restaurants that are currently under construction. And it's also right across the street from Sacramento City College and right next to all of the major highways. So it only takes about 15 minutes to get to the airport from here. Another great thing about this neighborhood is that it's surrounded by two great parks, William Land Park and William Curtis Park. Curtis Park has a population of 9,418 residents. The median household income is 89,053 and the median home value is $524,092. And it's also located 10 to 15 minutes from all of the major hospitals. Okay, we're down to the last two and number two on this list is going to be Land Park. Land Park is ranked as number three of the best neighborhoods to raise a family in Sacramento. It's also number eight of the best neighborhoods to live in Sacramento. It's got a decently ranked school system and it's best known for its beautiful canopy trees, quaint homes, and one of the best parks in the Sacramento area, William Land Park. This park has a small zoo, a small amusement park, a golf course, and a pond. It's like having a mini Central Park in the heart of Sacramento. Land Park residents also lean left and are more liberal. And there is a population here of 10,815 residents. 
the median household income here is going to be $117,598 and the median home value is going to be $563,551. And just like Curtis Park in Midtown, it is located within minutes of all of the major hospitals in Sacramento. Okay, here we are rounding it off with number one. Number one is going to be East Sacramento or East Sac as the locals call it. East Sacramento is ranked number four of the best neighborhoods to live in Sacramento. It's number six of the best neighborhoods to raise a family in Sacramento, and it's got an average school system. The residents here also tend to be liberal, but one of our favorite things of East Sacramento are the homes. They are opulent to say the least, and the homeowners here come together every single year to bring us some of the best Christmas displays you're gonna see anywhere close to Sacramento. East Sac is also where the film Lady Bird took place, and Monica and I drive through here at least once a month so we can admire all of the beautiful homes in this area. Area. The population here is 23,375 and the median household income is $103,288. The median home value here is going to be $585,221. But believe me when I say this, you're going to have a damn hard time finding a decently sized home for that price in this area. I remember when Monica and I first went house hunting, one of the homes we first looked at was located in East Sacramento. This home was barely 1,000 square feet, it was two beds, one bath and the price it was on the market for was $565,000. But if you want to live in a neighborhood that is so posh that it is often referred to as the Fab 40s, then that's the price you're gonna have to be willing to pay to live there. Anyway, this neighborhood is also located within minutes of Sutter downtown and all of the other hospitals mentioned on this list. All right, so that rounds up our top 10 favorite places to live in the Sacramento area. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and watch the rest of the videos in our playlist. And with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one.